friends, Stu Stu Magoo here coming at you with another Minecraft video. Uh, I am wanting to go visit that ruined portal that we found in our little bonus episode. If you didn't watch it, all I was doing was working on the road, making some road improvements, and I saw a ruined portal in the distance and figured we need to explore that. Um, I'm going to get a new pickaxe because I feel like that iron pickaxe is going to run out soon. Eventually, we're going to get the proper farms and resources going so we can be all iron all the time. But we're not quite there yet. But for now, let's go ahead and go for a walk down our lovely road, which is coming along. You know, we're eventually going to have this road extending all the way to the village. Um, that's kind of been my long-term life goal is to have that done. And then once we have a reliable road between here and the village, we can work on more efficient modes of travel, making sure that this uh, road is lit up and maybe even protected, so who knows, I might throw up like some additional lights, maybe a fence on either side, something to protect us from the wilderness uh, as we travel along this road. I did kind of mess with the settings a little bit so we still so the shader should be a little more you know path based than it was before but you know it's it's going to be a work in progress all right so if i recall i just hugged this uh, left road and we will eventually see that ruined portal Man, that's our lush caves. That still looks like amazing. Uh, I I still can't get over how great this resource pack looks. I mean that that right there is just beautiful. I mean even using simple shaders like complementary. Oops, actually bumped a key. Oh yeah, what do you know? And I still have like the 30 FPS thing going. I might have might eventually just switch straight up to Kappa shaders. But there it is. What I've been looking for. I gotta find a way to get to it. Oh and there's cows over here. I uh, kinda wanna I think I need to take them out get their leather for books. And steak. Eventually I'll get a cow farm going, but those cows were too far away from home to be convenient. Alright, well let's uh, work our way down. Probably should have been walking in the river. Hup, hup, hup. Oh! That's a creeper. Oh man, there's like a creeper, a skeleton, all kinds of mean, nasty, horrible things in that cave. Okay, I think this lighting setting is uh, not right. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that. Is that the setting that's doing it? Uh, well, let's see. I think it was in this setting, yeah. I think we'll cut that intensity back to 1.0 like it was, because uh, whatever the heck happened in, with 2.0, yeah, we'll turn that off too. I think that was causing issues. Well, something is looking different, that's for sure. I don't know what it is. I don't remember sand looking like that. have like kind of a weird oversaturation thing going on but anyways I'll worry about that later for now oh it's <laughs> oh it's slimy netherite all right well, we got lava now, this would have been when I was looking for surface lava a few episodes ago that would have been useful that's crying obsidian which I'll actually go ahead and just yoink and hopefully it doesn't just fall into the lava otherwise I'm gonna look really dumb 
Ja, man. Yeah, who is cutting the onions? Advancement made. So I think with this uh, ruined portal, we should actually be able to repair it and go to the Nether. Let's see what the what the loot chest here gives us. Oh look, two free obsidian, a golden helmet with mending. Oh, that's awesome. Mending is like probably one of the most useful enchantments and especially if we're going to need a gold helmet in the nether that will stay a golden helmet, you know, that's, that's going to be super useful. So I think, if I, uh, ooh, nether rack, should be able to, uh, work on making this uh, actual usable portal. So I'll take this obsidian. I might have to get some obsidian back at base too to finish it off. <laughs> oh, there's some obsidian here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I didn't need to be going that low. I'm dumb. I, I, I could have gotten away with not doing it that way. That's okay though, it'll be an extra tall portal. Well, actually no, I could. We'll make this work, don't worry. I have an idea. Whoa! It's almost bad. Ooh, that was risky. That was uh, not not my smartest move. Come on, there we go. Okay, I'll just backfill in with some dirt. I think, yeah, I can mine that. That's useful to have. And then, so I think technically. Alright, and then, then we just gotta mine that last obsidian. I'm trying to think of how I will. Ooh, hoo hoo! Hot. Uh, we'll go ahead and just plug this up. We have unlimited iron at home. So I'm not really worried about the loss of lava. So, you know, we can just go home, make more lava. You know, I'm not, I'm not really worried. All right, and then with that, this portal frame is complete, technically. Now we just need a way to light it. I didn't think that part through. All right, I might need to run home and come back. Well, here, I'm actually going to sleep out here in the field. Alright, let's let's think about this. Need to light a fire. Yeah, it's gonna recall that's gonna involve going home and coming back. That's okay, I'll I'll go home and come back. I'm not I'm not too too worried about that overall. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'm just setting fires and causing problems. Alright, well I guess we'll walk along the river and uh, get back home. Yeah, that, that lava mess and fire was all my fault. Not very environmentally friendly of me, I admit. Alright, well it might take me a while to get home, so I'm just going to cut to when I return here. Ooh, that's paper. That's another aspect of those bookshelves we're going to need. Grab these on my way home. Get distracted by a cave. I don't see any mobs in it, so looks to be reasonably safe. Well, that led to a whole complex. I wasn't ready to explore that deeply. All right, ah, uh, distracted. Anyways, I'm gonna go back home, get to my base, 
And uh, once we're home, you know, we're gonna get what we need to light the portal and come back. Alrighty, so we are back at base. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these iron nuggets in. We're gonna take one of our iron ingots, go over to our crafting table. Flint and steel, that's what we need to light the portal. Let's get back to the portal. I'm going to doot doot magic flute. Alright. Here we go. I feel like I need some uh, dramatic hype music here. Oh, this is really creepy. I'm going to put on our gold helmet so the piglins don't attack us. Look at this, right off the bat we got quartz. I like quartz. We seem to be in another waste biome. I'm guessing we're gonna want to go up. It's so dark in here. But another act is another good building material. There we go, see if we can get up. Oh man, it's uh, going to be quite the climb, huh? We'll still get all this nice quartz, and I want to try to get out of this hole we're in. If there's a way to get out of this hole we're in. Now I feel like going up in the nether isn't necessarily what you want to do. Man, the nether just sounds creepy. I'm kind of debating now what I want to do with all those quartz. It's a lot of quartz. And now we could put it to good use. It's a great decorating block, it's a great building block. Oh, we broke through. Is it just to another chamber like this? Um, do, can I craft more torches? Eh, I can craft some. Nether always feels so dangerous to me. Especially when I hear gas. Oh yeah, look at that. That's uh all right, that's how we get back to our original portal. Um, yeah, this is a really weird area. We're either like way too high up in the nether or way too low down. I'm gonna have to do like a coordinates check soon. But we're not in Kansas anymore, that much I can say. Kind of hoping to, to get like the open lava pit experience, you know, we, the nether kind of opens up before you. I don't think we're going to get that necessarily. Oh, we're going to get a lot of frame stutter though. Ow. Well. Oh, uh, there's that way. Like I don't want to fall. Um, I 
Get another stack, well, I guess half stack of torches. I'll have to cook up some more charcoal soon. Oh, here we go. Looks like this is starting to open up a little bit. Is that soul sand? No, it's soul soil. Not quite what I wanted. I, I, I would prefer soul sand, but I'll take soul soil. We're getting all kinds of new materials that we haven't used before. terrifying. I think there's some soul sand here too. I'm really interested in that. I feel so unsafe here. Oh yeah, that's soul sand. There we go. We're gonna, we're gonna take this soul sand because it's actually very useful for us. That's gonna unlock a lot of abilities for us. There's also glowstone here, but I don't want to touch that yet. But wow, okay, there's skeletons down there. Where does this tunnel lead? Down? Yeah, let's start lighting this up, trying to make it safe. I don't want any skeletons spawning. I mean, I think this is actually the most dangerous of the nether biomes. What's that? Whew. So you know, naturally I have to go hard for my first trip in here. There's a skeleton over there. Oh, looks like a strider way in the distance. Pillar of basalt. And unlimited lava. Alright, well. Whew. We might have to come better armored and better prepared, because I'm I'm a little frightened. But at the very least we can take this soul soil. We'll be able to get the soul sand. The soul sand, honestly, is what's gonna be most useful to me. Ugh, it makes such a gross noise. But it's so useful to us. <gasps> well, I'm going to end the episode here.